I'm Connie Shoemaker. I'm Director Emeritus of Spring International Language Center at Littleton, Colorado. And to me, education in general is all about building bridges. And if you're involved in international education, as we are, it's even more important to the student's success to build a bridge between the ESL classroom and the community. Our conversation partner program does that. What we do is uh, match up our students in small groups in the classroom with American conversation partners. Have you traveled over overseas? Okay. How about you, Hamoud? Have you traveled overseas? Yes. You? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Have where traveled. Where have you traveled? And, uh, not this. Yeah. Well, have you traveled outside your country? Yeah. Where have you traveled? Egypt. Egypt? Yeah. Egypt. Yeah. No. Just Egypt. Egypt. Yeah. And how about Dubai? Dubai. Yeah. Dubai. Is that yeah. Dubai? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where else? Where else have you traveled? In the United States. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, my name is Jay Moyers, and I've been a conversation partner three years now. My friend introduced me to it, and the benefits, I get to meet international students, have conversations, and make really good friends. A little. Um, I worked for a church for a year. And yeah, that's a good experience. Yeah, it's a good experience. Yeah. And um, I worked for a clothing store as well. Mm -hmm. um, my name's Sierra McKeever, and I've been doing conversation partners for about three months now. Um, and really, why I joined was um, I've had some experience working with refugees and um, just different cultures and really loved the experience and wanted to continue to um, just have an impact on people that are trying to um, yeah, make a life for themselves in America. And in 1979 we began the school and with the idea that it would not just be an intensive English program but it would also bridge the cultural gap between our international students and American culture. So from the beginning we started programs like homestay families, uh, friendship families, and within a couple of years I saw the need for more conversational opportunities for our students. So we began a limited conversation partner program. Uh, we visited high schools, we did different activities in the community, and that program has kind of morphed into something larger. At this point we use community partners in our listening speaking classes in the afternoon and we use them also in the conversation class. So students have many opportunities to actually get acquainted with partners. People's of China. Okay. Yeah. People's Republic of China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your yeah. Republic of yeah. China. Yeah. What is yeah. the opposite? Republic of China. Of China. Yeah. yeah. So Hong Kong before belong to the United Kingdom. Yes. Yeah, a lot. Rent them for 100 years. Right. Yeah. And now, so now to China. So Ronald, why don't you tell me a little bit about where you're from? Uh, I'm from Gabon. Like West Central Africa. Okay, where is it on the map? Yeah, it's over here. Okay. It's close to Congo and close to Cameroon, Central Africa, and we speak mostly French. Mostly French. Yeah, okay. the official language. Okay. We have different like people from uh, West Africa. They pray like they are Muslim, something like that, mm -hmm. Muslim, and they come to Gabon. So. Okay. It's like, so you have a combination. Yeah, a combination of yeah many religions. Do, do people in the religions get along, or is there a little bit of tension? Oh, I mean, they respect each other. Mm -hmm. They stay together. They don't have trouble about, like, that's okay for them. Okay, yeah. that's great. Okay. Um, my name is Ann Lankto. Um, I got started just this past January doing conversation partners. I'm interested in becoming a teacher of English as a second language, and this was a perfect opportunity for me to try out to see if that's what I wanted to do. And I have to say that after working as a conversation partner, I just love it. I love talking to the students. I love learning so much about their cultures, their languages, um, and even learning how difficult it is to learn English. It's, that's been very important to me, um, especially if I want to teach them, is to understand how hard it is and how um, hard they work and how good they become. I mean, uh, when I started in January, um, you know, there, there were levels, one students who are now level six, and 
it's amazing to me the difference um, in their, their abilities. Uh, my name is Ronald Kuna. I'm from Gabon. He's on West Central Africa and I'm in level six now. And the conversation partner is really benefit for me because when I came here I was in level two and my speaking was not as good as now and my listening was terrible so after level three to level six I mean my speaking is getting better and my listening is getting better as well and I learned a lot of different things about American culture because the conversation partner always talk about their own experience and I I try to understand what they mean and I can teach them what's going on in Africa in my country especially. So it's really benefit for me and for the conversation partners. To me the important part of the program is that it links the American partners with the students and builds that bridge of understanding so it enriches their lives. And for the students, meeting Americans and knowing them and enjoying them enriches their lives.